Also, the county continues to see more reopenings. Today, the Santa Monica Pier was packed as rides were open with restrictions, and Magic Mountain opened up to the general public as well today. The park is following strict coronavirus guidelines, including operating at 15% capacity and masks and social distancing requirements. Let's go to NBC Force Kim Tobin at the park today. She joins us live with more. Hey, Kim. Hey, you guys, it's such a fun day out here, too, at Six Flags. They did have a couple of days for those season pass holders, but now today is the big day. It's open for everyone. So we want to show you some of the things you'll be seeing here. This is the contactless kind of temperature tunnel, if you will. I'm going to show you how this works. My uh, photographer, Haley, is going to show the screen here. Once I'm inside, you can actually see my temperature. So everyone who comes through gets their temperature read. If there's any issues, they're kind of pulled aside and evaluated by the EMTs here. One of the many changes you will see at amusement parks as they start to reopen during this pandemic. Going down the tracks, you can hear screaming from the roller coasters once again for the first time in more than a year. Six Flags Magic Mountain officially opened to all customers today. I feel good. I mean, we've been locked down in the house for so long, so it's good to have my kids out. They need some fresh air. You know, there's no school, so they're, you know, they don't have their friends. The Williams family came to celebrate Jaden's 12th birthday. She's ready for the big roller coasters. I looked at the drops and it looks really good. In addition to contactless temperature checks, the park is operating at 15% capacity only for California residents with reservations. You'll also see signs posted throughout the park, masks and social distancing required, and cleaning crews coming through to spray down each ride and space out the customers every other row. It really is a great time to visit the park because the lines are not going to be that long. All of our rides are open. All of our retail locations are open, our dining locations, and it's the perfect time to visit and get on all of those coasters that everyone's missed. And the Ryan family missed the ride so much the past year, they had time to devise a plan. Heartbroken. The pictures that they take, we have them all over our walls. And so we stared at them and talked about it of what we would do and how long we'd do it. So they decided they're coming back to the park for seven days straight to make up for the lost time. And they tell us they're comfortable with the safety measures that have been put in place. The mask, of course, as it gets warmer, it's a little, oh, I have to breathe. You know, but other than that, it's been fine. The employees are all doing a great job of keeping everyone apart, but I'm so comfortable and so happy. Yeah, that family coming for seven days straight. They are absolutely dedicated. So we've talked about the different tier systems here. L.A. County opening up the amusement parks in the red tier at 15% capacity. But we know that L.A. County has that approval to move to the orange tier now. That would bump the park up to 25% capacity. Park officials, though, tell me that they have not had any exact guidelines coming from the state or the county just yet. So right now, they're going to hold off, kind of take it slowly, ease into it as they're still getting used to this on the first official day of opening. We're live here at Six Flags Magic Mountain, Kim Tobin, NBC4 News.